Morning, Brother Dennis, Mr. Bolin, Ms. Gott Sagan, members of the Board of Governors, faculty and staff, deans, families and friends, and fellow classmates. It is my honor as a salutatorian to welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. During my sophomore and junior years, I had the experience of playing pop and circumstance at the ceremonies of other graduating classes. I remember watching them walk across the stage, collecting their diplomas, thinking that one day it would be me in their place. With the recent pandemic, I wasn't sure my class would have the chance to do so, but now our chance has finally come. After months of uncertainty, it is finally the time to officially close the chapter on our high school careers and begin a new chapter in our lives. However, before we do that, we must not forget the important life lessons Lachlan has instilled in us and the people who have helped us along this journey. First, I would like to thank my family and my teachers. I'm grateful for all your support during these last four years and the role each one of you played in helping me become the person I am today. I will also like to thank the class of 2020. You have definitely made my four years here at Lachlan interesting. We are a diverse group of per different personalities, talents, and aspirations. Spending these last four years with you all has helped me mature as a person. Many people have expressed to me how I've grown since the day I first entered Lachlan. I was once, and somewhat still am, a shy and reserved freshman who was scared to show my inner character. Now I am a senior graduating high school who finally learned to let my confidence shine and give people a chance to see my true self. I will never forget the memories I made here at Lachlan, and I know my fellow classmates share some of these as well. Memories of staying up late to finish homework, catching up on the latest gossip at my lunch table, and of course, the radiator club. For those who don't know, that is what we call the radiator on the first floor closest to the A side. It is where my cousin Asha, our group of friends, Kajo, Chloe, Leanne, Lauren, Marquise, Kayla, and I, waited until we were ready to go home. People who passed by began to call us the Radiator Club, and we eventually got an official plaque. Memories like this will forever be cherished, and we have the plaque to, rem to remind us of it. I know all my other classmates have memories of their own that they will never forget. However, our graduation will not only be special to us, it will go down in history and will be remembered by everyone around the world. Our class will be known for continuing to use our determination to overcome any obstacle that tries to hinder our success. 2020 is a year of change, and we are the generation that will bring about that change. Whether it is within society, politics, medicine, arts, or anything that we are passionate about. As I begin to end this speech, I want to leave you all with one last thought. John Wooden once said, success comes from knowing that you did your best to become the best that you are capable of becoming. As you go off into the world to start a life of your own, make a promise to yourself that you would follow your passions and use your talents to advance the world and society around you. Promise to always try your best at anything you put your mind to. Never let anything change how you see yourself and use your uniqueness to help the world because as Ms. Freeman always said, we have entered Lachlan to learn, and now we are leaving to serve. It is now our time to set the foundation for the future. Thank you again to the class of 2020, and congratulations. Great job. Thank you. So what we'll do now, um, Asha, you could unmute. Sharon, you and I should mute. And then Asha, you're up. Good morning, Brother Dennis, Mr. Bolin, Ms. Godsagan, Ms. Freeman, Mr. Montez, teachers, administrators, members of the Board of Governors, parents, and fellow graduates. Welcome, everyone. My name is Asha Griffith, and I am the valedictorian of the class of 2020. For some of you, this is the first time hearing me speak, so I advise you to take it in. Today is our graduation day. It has finally come. Several months ago, our biggest worries were stressing over classes, 
and trying to be on time for school. Now, we would have never imagined that this would be the end of our high school careers. The coronavirus has derailed plans and canceled events that we have been looking forward to for four years. But by the grace of God, we are here today and we are not disheartened. As Lions of Lachlan, we were never disheartened. Yes, there were times that we have been tired, fed up and upset, but we were never disheartened. We pushed on, rising up to every challenge. We performed various spectacles and great show-stopping numbers. We demolished competition and ranked number one. Congrats to the track team. We organized events and tried to raise money for our sister school, St. Mary's in Kenya, all the while dealing with the pressures of trying to pass high school. We did that. Class of 2020, give yourselves a round of applause. With the same fierce determination that emboldens this class, I believe that we can face the future in all its uncertainties. One of our beloved deans, Miss Freeman, often utters a phrase that has been ingrained into our hearts, enter to learn and leave to serve. The first part of the phrase is enter to learn. We have learned so many things as students of Lachlan. Besides the school curriculum taught by our amazing faculty, we learn valuable lessons about friendship, respect, and even ourselves. Lessons that shaped who we are with the help of various individuals, namely our teachers, friends, and family. I know that in the past four years, I have grown as an individual. I'm no longer that girl in her tiny shell. Through my experiences, I've matured into a young woman who isn't afraid to take on any obstacle in her way. The second part of the phrase is leave to serve. This is a task as Lasallians we have been given to do. But I urge you, class of 2020, to never forget that we have learned so much from the service of others. Our teachers who had an influential hand in shaping our minds, thank you for giving us a safe space to freely express our thoughts and creativity. God knows you don't get paid enough for dealing with us. To our parents and guardians, thank you for sending us to this institution as you wanted the best for us. We all know that school tuition breaks the bank, but you still sent us here to learn and to grow. Class of 2020, I now invite you to stand and applaud your parents and guardians. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. You now may be seated. I would like to thank my parents and family members here and abroad for their love and support. To my grandmother, I miss you and I hope that you are proud of me. Remember to honor the ones that you have lost in everything that you do. To the Lachlan community and the class of 2020, thank you for your camaraderie and spirit. You have all made my high school experience worthwhile. To my friends, you know who you are. Thank you for memories and moments that will never be forgotten. My fellow graduates, I wish you the best. I hope you thrive in whatever profession you want to be. But I pray that you do whatever profession you strive to be in with the same love and devotion that the faculty of Lachlan and your parents have shown you. That is the true meaning of service and what it is to be Lasallian. The road ahead is daunting and the world isn't as kind as our school community. But the meaningful bonds that we form with God and other individuals strengthen us and allow us to bear the harshest of reality. Class of 2020, we have entered Lachlan, we have learned, now we must serve. The only way we can do this is with love and kindness to make a brighter tomorrow. Mother Teresa once said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. We should follow her example as our contribution to society. Congratulations to the class of 2020, may God bless you.